Hey folks, it's Greg. You're watching Greg Country Cabin Outdoors. So I'm, I've been doing this social distancing, you know, the, the new name for fishing. And uh, tonight, for supper, I've got three baked bluegill and some corn. And I hope this turns out better than the last batch of fish I made. Because the last batch of fish I made... I thought were terrible. I didn't like the batter at all. I used a, a batter that I made with eggs and milk and flour and uh, fried it and it just didn't taste good. So let's see what it tastes like. That is by far better than the last batch. Wow, that is really good. Now, <clears throat> what I did is um, I uh, put them in a, on a cookie sheet in the oven, set it 325, took them for seven minutes, turned them over, cooked them for another seven minutes, and they're done. They're small fish, so it doesn't take much to cook them. But, um, I also seasoned them up good with uh, Old Bay seasoning and that makes a huge difference. Of course they're fresh caught. I just caught two of them yesterday. The third one I caught today. So um, yeah, it's really good. Definitely, definitely worth it. Um, kudos to my wife Anna because um, I called her. She's not here with me. And I asked her how to bake these because I've never baked fish before. Normally I fry them. And um, so she told me what to do. And I was hoping to use lemon pepper, but we don't have any lemon pepper here at the cabin. So um, I decided to go ahead and try the Old Bay seasoning. Um, I've got Old Bay that I've used on, on my deer meat. And honestly, I think I like it better on this fish than on the deer meat. The deer meat, I prefer to season and uh, marinade with um, Worcestershire sauce and uh, some of my favorite smoky mesquite seasoning by Weber. And uh, then uh, last batch I made, I cooked on the grill. So, since I'm social distancing at my cabin, and uh, we're not allowed to be out in the public. I decided to go ahead and live off the land. I've had a squirrel in the freezer. This one was actually shot February 1st. Um, so uh, I pulled it out of the freezer last night and let it thaw out. And today I cooked it up in a stew. So here's what it looks like. And... Uh, how I made this is I uh, put squirrel after I thawed it, put it in the um, stew pot and uh, brought it to a boil. I added one package of Lipton Recipe Secrets Beefy Onion Soup. Okay, I let it simmer for four hours. It was so tender that it would fall off the bone. So, what I did is I used this, one of those Fry Daddy scoops, scooped the meat out, pulled the bones out, and put the meat back into the stew. Now, <clears throat> I had plenty of extra water, so what I did is I scooped off about two cups of broth which I can save to make soup at another time okay after this had simmered for four hours four hours <clears throat> I added a can of black eyed peas I added a can of sliced potatoes drained I didn't want all the extra water in there then <clears throat> I added a can of creamy mushroom soup <clears throat> and I let that simmer. Now 
the potatoes and the black eyed peas and all that is kind of bland and the beefy onion soup really doesn't add a whole lot of flavor so what I did is I added my favorite smoky mesquite seasoning to each bowl as I went <clears throat> about a quarter of a teaspoon just enough to give it some flavor so <clears throat> that's my recipe for squirrel stew well my friend Kevin's back from Wisconsin he moved back to the area so it's good to have him back he was out here with a girlfriend um, showing him showing her around the cabin and the shed toe and uh, after they left I decided to text my wife to see if she was coming out here because she had mentioned she would ask her what she wanted for supper and she said fish so I went out and caught myself a nice batch of fish seven um, bluegill and a couple of bass and yeah one bass is really small but before you get on my case about it this is a private lake and it is overstocked so we got to thin them out I did throw a bluegill back it was smaller than the bass but that that bass right there is really good eating and that one is too so anyway this one's for you Kevin good to see you again hope you come back a lot more often this is Greg you're watching Greg's Country Cabin Outdoors hope you had a great day <clears throat> if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching.